Okay, uh, here's a tutorial in how to, you know, do a power clip. Uh, yeah, to illustrate more, I just look at this uh, image here. So, our graphics, that's what we're going to do. Okay, so before doing that, uh, I'm just going to zoom out here. And we're going to see if, what are the elements involved here. Okay, for sure it's a power clip. So you click on the image here, and if you take a look underneath here, it says uh, it's a power clip. Okay, so you go to effects and then click on power clip and then click on extract contents. So when you extract content, you're going to extract the image, which is this one here. Okay, so that's my image, right? Actually, I placed the transparency in there. So I'm going to remove the transparency so that you could see. Uh, the original picture so that's the original picture and this is the path okay you take a look at this one that's the wings of this and then this one is the wings of that one so let me just say we power clipped it okay so we'll start the tutorial okay delete that that's the path and we're gonna start uh, manipulating this picture here okay so what I did I made a box okay. like that. and uh, I'm going to enlarge it a bit okay. Okay. To, to, to do that effect what we did is we're going to make an object here like a shape okay, just to cut off part of the wing here and also the wing in uh, the bottom here so but first of all uh, when you make a rectangular, this is this was a rectangular made by this uh, rectangular tool. If you go to shape, to the shape tool, and you go, you're going to see four black nodes in there. Click on one node and then move it to the left or uh, to the right. See, it makes a radius corners on all four sides. So that's another technique too. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, uh, work on wireframe. Uh, working on a wireframe and making uh, you know a shape is good because because what we're gonna we're going to trace this one right so if you click on view and click on wireframe it's gonna be black and white it's just easier to see the lines okay so I'm going to go to my um, bezier tool and the second one okay bezier tool and what I'm going to do I'm just going to trace this part of the wing and I'll show you why we're gonna do that okay and then after that I'm just going to close that okay because that's the only part of the wing that we're uh, we're we're concerned of and also this part here okay so I go to my vizier tool and I create a shape okay okay so that's the bottom wing okay and then I'll close it okay once you see the arrow like that that means to say it's it's ready to close so close it and that's it okay now let's zoom out here come back here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to weld this object okay so you click on this object first with the wings that you did and then uh, hold on shift and click on this one which is the rectangular box that we did and you go to your shaping tool here okay go on top here and you click on weld there notice it's one whole object now it's welded now we go to the bottom of the butterfly because we're going to weld the other two this one okay so we click on the object that we did and hold on shift and click on the rectangular and then you click on weld there you go now we get a shape like that now let's go back to our view enhance view so we could see how it looks like now okay now what we're gonna do okay uh, again before doing the power clip make sure in tools click on options okay and then you see um, in options click on edit here go to edit okay make sure this is unchecked okay 
So make that unchecked and then click OK. So that the picture won't center on the shape. Okay. So you click on the image and you go to effect and you keep, go to power clip. You click on place inside the container and an arrow will show up. Which container is this container here? There you go. So you just made it to a contour shape in here. Now, I want to make a transparency over here. So I click on the object and I go to Edit Effects. And I go to Power Clip, Edit Contents. Okay. So it go, goes back to my, to my image, the whole image. So you click on the image and you go to Transparency Tool. And click and drag. Okay. And then make sure to click Finish Editing Object if you're done. Okay. Now, if I put, if I click on the object now, it's an object now, it's because it's a shape. Now, if I click on any colors here in my left side, it would have a transparent. See, it has a transparency now. Okay, I'm gonna choose green. And then, and if I want to make the lines thicker, I'll go to my outline tool. Uh, let's say four point and I'll say orange no actually I still I want green and then click OK okay if it's not thick enough I go back to my outline tool and then I'll click on I'll say 8 and then click OK okay so if I'm happy with that I can still change the fill I'll make it orange so that it will be complementary to this one Okay, so that's it. So now the only thing we have to do is we're going to move this text here that I've just done over to this side. And I'll put a range order to front. And zoom in. And that's it.